Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in. I wanted to come here and show you guys a really good holiday set from Artist Couture. So this is, I mean, the box is empty, but this is called the Uncensored Bronze Set Kit. So Uncensored is the name of the shade that, the lip, of lip gloss, what am I saying? Uncensored is the name of the lip gloss that you get and Bronze is the mini, where did it go? It was, it was just right here. Oh yeah. Uh, and bronze is the shade of the diamond lights finisher that you get. So I think the uh, lip gloss is actually a brand new product to Artist Couture. So for them to give like a full size product is really good. And this is not a, a, a like a bronze color or a, a brown colored lip gloss. It's very much beige. It's like a, kind of a pinky beige color, a color that would never flatter my skin tone. So I was like... And I saw this, I don't know, but anyways, so the plush, plush pout lip gloss is contains 6.4 milliliters of product and it is made in USA and the diamond lights finisher is actually not the full size because last Sephora sale, I got a full size diamond lights finisher. I really wanted to see how it was. So I got a full size I, for some reason. I just did not share it with you guys in the last Sephora haul video that I did. You get 3.5 grams of product in the full size. So in the set, the mini bra, um, finishers, light finisher, you get 1.5 grams, but still it's a lot of product for, especially for something that is like so shiny and like kind of a, you know, glittery kind of a product. So yeah, so this is, I guess, full size and the finisher lights, diamond lights finisher is not. So anyways, let me just swatch it. And oh, by the way, the price on the set is $23, which I think is really, really nice. I think the Diamond Lights Finisher in the full size is 3.5 grams and it's $25. I think this is like $18 or $20, the lip gloss. Let me just swatch it for you. This is going to be like a really quick video, guys. Look at that. It's like a really light color, but this is not a a very pigmented lip gloss as you can see so I actually applied one layer in the bottom and then went in again dipped in and put another layer on top so as you can see oh wait you can see the the it's settled in the lines of my lips and it kind of looks abnormal because my lips are darker and this color is a very beige color right so when it settles in the lines of the lips you can see it in the, my upper lip it looks kind of weird but I just press my lips together and it's gone so there is that it kind of settles in the lines of the lips but it doesn't look streaky or it doesn't look kind of odd it doesn't look very milky or pale or very stark against my skin tone so that is kind of nice it's kind of warm definitely I don't know pinky or warm I don't know I can't decide but anyways it doesn't look very harsh against my skin tone and I feel if you have really rich skin than mine you can still wear this shade just apply one layer in the one in the uh, bottom lip or top lip and just press your lips together and still you can pull it off it's not a full coverage lip gloss at all and it's not sticky at all and um it has like a cooling tingling sensation i put this lip gloss maybe 15 minutes ago and there's still this uh, cooling kind of sensation the tingling and cooling and tingling is still slightly lingering in my lips but anyways it's not uncomfortable it doesn't burn or anything like that so yeah that is that gloss in the shade uncensored let's look at the diamond oh wait diamond lights finisher in the shade diamond bronze and I will also show you guys the shade spotlight glitz in this video and and i have a comparison this is like the pat mcgraw pigment that came with her spring set she released like a very mini um palette like a six pan mini palette and she came out with this to go with the palette so i wanted to compare it with this kind of loose product too so let's so it does come with a stopper just to look at this product it kind of looks dry to be honest it's not gleaming and glistening in the packaging that's because I feel the the pigments kind of adhere so beautifully to one another like it's like seriously it, it doesn't look like loose product let me see if you can see it, it kind of looks like round balls tiny tiny balls 
that's how beautifully the pigments the, or the glitter or water, whatever these are they adhere so beautifully to one another and they are so easy to swatch guys look at that it's like do you see the tiny balls that's how so beautifully the pigments kind of adhere to one another and i'm just going to swatch look at that just look at it it's like swatching an eyeshadow right I am so impressed by the quality of the Diamond Lights finisher, guys. And look at that. I smoothed it out. It's, it look, literally looks like I swatched a pressed powder eyeshadow. Look at that. It's really good. Um, anytime the owner or the, the, the founder of Artist Couture talks about the Diamond Lights finisher, he always, always mentions the fact that that's like the unique selling proposition for the Diamond Lights finisher. He always mentions that has these pigments or glitters are wrapped in silicone or silicone, sorry, silicone, <laughs> silicone oil. So that's why they kind of adhere to one another. And that's why they kind of, there is a smoothening effect to the swatch and the application is because of the silicone oil that is like wrapped around all of these glitter so i think that really makes an incredible difference you can he says that you can use it on your lips eyes and cheeks so i i really i'm really 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 impressed with this set it's 23 dollars, and you have your lips covered with this and your eyes you can use it for your eyes actually you these don't crease just uh you definitely need some kind of a in a sticky base to just to make the application easier i don't have any sticky base on my arms nothing no no moisturizer it's pretty dry but you won't be able to like smooth and go back and forth on your eyes you know you know what i mean you just have to pat or just a little bit of smoothening the skin on your eye the, i mean your eyelids is really a very thin skin it's very sensitive you don't want to go back and forth so uh, swatching is a little bit different from just applying on your eyelids so with a sticky base it just helps it along so i think that would really be uh, helpful but still i don't think you really need it at all look at that there's no like fallout you don't see any more glitter anywhere it's really a very neat application and they work really well as highlighter i actually have this as my highlight you're probably able to see some of the pigments but i have uh the inglot highlighter underneath this my that's just become my favorite highlighter right now so but i have a little bit on top of that so you, you if you have this you have your eyes and cheeks i think you can also use it on your lips uh, because they adhere so well you can apply it over maybe a liquid lipstick a, a dry liquid lipstick that doesn't transfer so that would be really good too so i think it is a pretty like well-rounded set so i'm very happy with it i definitely recommend this if you're interested in something like this so that set is i guess done let me quickly swatch the shade that i got in the full size which is called spotlight glitz so i know this looks kind of so silvery but i expected it to be a slightly different but it's okay so spot again let me show you how it looks look at that you can it doesn't look like really loose product it's kind of like teeny tiny balls of these glitter particles they really adhere well to one another i really like it so this is look at that swatch look at that how smooth that was so that is as you can see there's a pink tone to it pink to golden silver kind of a tone it doesn't really look stock silver like a little, little bit of gold here you can see a little bit of pink so that is that shade spotlight glitz i really like this too i've never tried this on the cheeks though so i don't know if it looks flattering against my skin tone because this is a very cool tone shade so that is spotlight glitz and again very very pretty shade guys that's a very pretty shade too and also the quality on this is really good let me quickly double check if the full size ones are also made in the states as the bronze mini one that came in the set where are you made let me see made in the states yeah this is made in usa as well and this is the teeny tiny pigment that came with the pat mcgrath set which is so close to spotlight glitz in color and let's see this is kind of a little bit looser than the artist couture spot i mean diamond glitz diamond glitz or diamond finishers 
this is not um this is kind of not like they they don't look like tiny balls of pigments they just like look a little bit loose but look they still adhere well to the skin they still adhere well they're not like loose glitters just flying anywhere no the the pat mcgra one also adheres really and look at that swatch it's pretty smooth guys it's i would say the swatch for this and this is very comparable if you just saw if you had just seen the pat mcgra one is also really good i would say equally good so the color wise look at that they are very similar but on the eyes i think it's uh, uh it's the best way to judge which one is different is like on darker skin especially for such a light color to to tell the difference the pat mcgra one is more pinker the pink in the pat mcgra's shade pigment is more darker this is much lighter pink on the eyes you can definitely tell the difference and look at that it's very gold gold and then pink pink their shade is very very similar but they are you know the pink tone in pat mcgra's pigment is much darker than this the spotlight glitz shade so that is it you guys all in all i'm very happy with it i'm so so impressed that artist couture's diamond lights finisher is an act seriously this is like a dupe for the pat mcgra's pigments i don't know if this set is still available with pat mcgra the the mini black tiny palette with six shades and it came with this and then also the mascara so that was like 36 or 38 if i'm not wrong i think it was 38 dollars and if you just have an, your eye on this, this is a great, I'm telling you, this is like a seriously, seriously close dupe to the Pat McGrath pigments. And these are not available in the full size. It just came with the, you know, with just the set. But I think this might be available. But Pat McGrath's uh, pigment, these are called the Angel Dust Crystalline Prismatic Pigment. Oh, wait, I think Angel Dust is the name of the shade. But probably the name of the pigment is Crystalline prismatic pigments so the crystalline pigment pig, <laughs> prismatic pigments are made in italy i think hang on yes these are made in italy the diamond finisher powder are made in is all of them are made in usa so that is it guys i just wanted to quickly show you guys the set i'm very happy with this set i'm so so impressed with it the value for money and just an overall it's a very well-rounded set seriously but uh, anyways, and then I wanted to also show you guys that spotlight glitz shade, which I left out and a dupe for that. So all in all, I guess that's all I wanted to share with you guys. Um, hope you found this video useful. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked watching it. And also please subscribe. It would really mean so much. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye.